10 helpful tips for pouring stamp concrete in hot weather. Next on the list is have enough help. Now this is where a lot of people go wrong. You know, maybe you underestimated the amount of manpower needed for the job, or sometimes one of the crew just didn't even show up that day. No matter what, being short-handed is pretty much a guaranteed way of having a bad day. Now, if you're using color hardener or cutting borders, man, those are some of the biggest areas that we see contractors underestimate. If you have borders on your job, man, we recommend having one person dedicated to just that. Now, I can still remember the first job that I ever poured with borders, and man, did I underestimate that one. It was what seemed like a small sidewalk, but it had brick borders on both sides and Ashley Slate in the middle. And oh yeah, it was an afternoon pour in the middle of summer. We did get the job done and it actually turned out okay, but I learned a big lesson that day. Now I should have had an uh, extra person on that job or maybe even just waited till the next morning. Color hardener jobs that are larger than 200 square feet, man, you should always have an extra person just to throw that color hardener. You know, maybe even consider having an entire extra person all together for those 90 degree days.